Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to easily add an image gallery to your Shopify homepage. On Shopify, you can easily add an image gallery to your homepage with clickable links to send customers directly to your product listing pages, product collections, or anywhere else you like. Not only does a gallery provide a great way to send customers to desired products and pages, but also improves the look of your Shopify homepage as well. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to add a new gallery to your Shopify homepage, how to add images to your gallery, and how to link your images to your products or any other location you wish. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to add a gallery to your homepage. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you access your free trial by heading over to jasongandy.info or by clicking the link in the video description. No credit card is required to get your free trial, and if you like it, you can get three months of Shopify for only a dollar per month on select plans. If you're an entrepreneur, Shopify is definitely the most popular and one of the best platforms you could use to build your online business. So now that you've unlocked Shopify, let's log in and go over how to add a gallery to your Shopify homepage. Once you log in, you should be taken to your Shopify dashboard. Here's where you can add products, view your analytics, update your online store, and more. To add a gallery to our Shopify homepage, we're gonna need to customize our theme. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the online store tab. This should take you to the themes page where you can select a new theme or customize your current theme. Depending on the theme you select, there may be slightly different settings such as the amount of photos you can add to each gallery but the setup process is pretty much the same. For my demo store, I'm currently using the minimal theme. So to add a new image gallery to my Shopify store, let's look on the right hand side here and click on the customize button. This will take you to the Shopify theme editor where you can fully customize your Shopify homepage. As you can see, I've already added several sections to my homepage, but I wanna add an image gallery with clickable links to send customers to my featured products. So let's look at the menu on the left here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and click on the Add Section tab. This will open up the Theme Sections menu where you can select a new section to add to your Shopify homepage. If we check out the various sections, we should see an option that says Gallery. Let's go ahead and click that now. A new Gallery section should now be added to your menu on the left. On the Homepage Preview, you can also see the Gallery template at the bottom of the page. So now that I have a gallery section, let's go over how to add my first image. If we look at the gallery section on the left, we'll see various tabs for our images. So let's go ahead and click the first image tab here. Here's where you can select a new image to add to your Shopify gallery. If we click on the select image button, we'll see that there are actually two separate options to add images to your gallery. You can either upload your own images from your library, or you can select from tons of free images available on Shopify. If we take a look at the free images on Shopify, we can see they have tons of different categories to choose from. Each category will have hundreds, if not thousands of images that you can browse through and add to your Shopify store. But for my Shopify store, I wanna display images showing my actual products. So let's go back over to the library tab and go over how to upload our own images. The type of gallery you're adding to your store will determine the type of images that you need to use. You could have a gallery showing featured products, items on sale, your product collections, or anything else you can think of. For my demo store, I want to create a gallery showing some of my featured products. Feel free to upload any image that you wish to use for your gallery, but when you're ready to go pro, you should check out the professional mock-up templates available on Placeit. Placeit allows anyone to quickly create high-quality product mock-ups in seconds with their easy-to-use mock-up templates and editor. They have thousands of image and video mockups that you can customize with your own design, brand logo, or any other image you wish. With thousands of templates to choose from, you can quickly create mockups for t-shirts, phone cases, hoodies, coffee mugs, face masks, and many other items. To give place it a try, make sure you head over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description. So now that I have some good images to use for my gallery, let's go down and click on the upload button. I can now find and open up my first image. Your image will then be uploaded to your Shopify library. And once it's finished, you'll be able to see a preview of your image in the gallery template on the right. If everything looks good, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click on select. 
So my first image has been added to my gallery. If you needed to change or remove your image, you could use the drop down menu here. I'm adding images of my featured products and my first product here is my woman's crop hoodie. Showing the mock-up image in my gallery is great, but I want it to link to my actual product. If you look at the bottom of the menu on the left, you should see the image link box. You could simply paste in the link you want to add to your image, but if you click the text box, you'll see a menu pop up with various sections that you can link to your image. Since my image is of my crop hoodie, let's go to the products tab and find my women's crop hoodie so I can link the listing page to my image. From here, you can view all of the products that you currently have in your Shopify store. Go ahead and find the one you want to add to your image and click it to select it. There we go. My link has now been added to my image. To preview your link, you can use the little icon on the right hand side here. And as it should, the link takes me directly to my woman's crop hoodie listing page where customers can view the product and make a purchase. So now that I've added my image and the link to my product, let's go up to the top right and click on save. My first clickable image has now been added to my gallery. So now let's go back, go down to my gallery section and do the same thing for my other images. I've already used Placeit to create several mock-up images of my products, so let's go ahead and upload them and add them to my gallery. In my Shopify demo store, I sell clothing and apparel items, home and living items, and even hats and beanies. So once you add your images and your links, go ahead and save everything, and let's head back to our homepage editor. So as you can see, I've added my product mock-ups to the three image tabs available under the gallery section. If you wanted to add an additional image, you can go down to the Add Image tab at the bottom here. If you click this, a new image tab will be added to the gallery section. For my minimal theme, I can only have four images per gallery, so the Add Image tab will now be grayed out. So let's go ahead and add a fourth featured product to my gallery. For this image, I think I'll use my ceramic coffee mug. So as you can see, my gallery on the right now has a row of four images instead of three. I think this actually looks pretty good, but I don't like it being all the way down at the bottom of my homepage. So let's go over to the gallery section on the left. Go over to the three dots icon on the right hand side and click and drag the gallery section up my homepage just below my shop welcome message. Much better. Now my customers will have an easier time finding my featured products. But right now, it only shows my images and doesn't have a title or a description to show what the images are for. So let's give my new gallery a heading and a description by going to the menu on the left hand side, going all the way down to the bottom, and click on the add section tab. This time, to add a heading for my gallery, I'm going to select the rich text option. This will add a text section to my homepage that I can move up above my gallery to use as my heading. There we go. If I click on the text tab, I can add a heading and a description for my gallery. What you include in your heading and description will depend on the type of gallery that you're creating. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on save at the top right. Now my new gallery has some text explaining what the images actually are. And a quick note, if you ever wanted to hide your gallery but don't want to delete it from your homepage, simply click the little eyeball icon on the right here. This will remove the section from your homepage until you're ready to enable it again. And if you wanted to add more images to your gallery besides the four that are available, simply add another gallery to your homepage and move it up underneath your first gallery. But for my Shopify store, I'm just going to stick with the one gallery for now. So let's make sure everything is saved and then exit back to the themes menu so I can preview my new gallery in my Shopify store. So to check out my gallery, let's click on view your store at the top right here. This will take me to my Quantum Designs demo Shopify store. So I have my heading, my menu, my sliders, my welcome text, and my new gallery with the heading and description. I think the gallery looks great and it's a good way to send customers directly to a selected product. If customers click my soy wax candle for example, they'll be taken directly to the product listing page where they can view it and make a purchase. Whether you have new products, featured products, or items that are on sale, using a gallery is a great way to display them to your customers. So that's a quick overview of how to easily add an image gallery to your Shopify homepage. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.